Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to talk uh, very briefly about the Helium Network POC V11, which is uh, supposed to start today. Uh, if it doesn't start today, it's going to be very soon. But uh, it's supposed to be today, so uh, we will know for sure here uh, shortly. Uh, so, uh, yeah, and uh, we know it's today because there was an email sent out to all of the uh, hotspot owners that uh, any updates to be made by October the 4th, 2021. So, again, this is uh, straight from the source. And uh, that's all we know about. So let's assume that it's definitely starting today and uh, going forward, this is going to be all uh, legit. So anyways, so what do we got here? So what's POC V11? Well, I really love this. This was written by this person on uh, Reddit and it's uh, really awesome because it's a summary of the POC V11 and uh, basically just goes uh, into everything that it does. And it's not very difficult to read. But, um, you know, and, and even easier now, this this person wrote this. It's very nice. So uh, if you want, you can pause this video for a minute and uh, take a moment to read it. Uh, for me, I just want to get into a couple of things that I think are the most important. Beginning with this one right here. The POC 11 removes the SNR from the validation checks. That is a big one because the way that you're witnessing is going to be determined whether it's valid or invalid. It's going to be changing starting today. And uh, they're not going to be using the signal to noise ratio anymore. Instead, they're going to be using the free space path loss calculation or FSP. FSPL, if I can spell correctly today. So uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description below so that uh, you can read a little bit more about the FSPL and what it does and, and what it is. But if you want a quick explanation, it's basically antenna A, antenna B, they communicate. And once they communicate, they basically log a uh information you know antenna a antenna b communicated and there's a little log saying okay we talked to each other and this was the signal uh power and whatnot and based on those numbers the helium network is going to uh, determine whether you are legit or not so whether you are going to be a valid witness or an invalid witness and uh anyways this is because the SNR proved to be fairly useless as a mechanism to make it more difficult for gamers to lie about their location. So that is why they're going to the FSPL only. Okay. Only an FSPL calculation is going to be used to determine whether hotspots are where they say they are in relation to each other. And uh, like I said, that's very important because now it's up to us to make sure that all of the information that we have entered on the Helium app about our Helium devices is correct. We have to make sure that we update our location, our height, our antenna, uh, DBI. So make sure you are doing that starting yesterday, really. But uh, if you have not done it, please do that as soon as possible because uh, it could uh, it could mean that you know it, it could not be beneficial for you uh, in many cases so just make sure you update your information and if you do that you should be okay now another piece of awesome information is the power output that uh, that helium is going to be uh, I don't know how to say that, uh, the power output, it's going to be per regulations, okay? Per regulations right here. So what that means is that in the United States, the EIRP, okay, the EIRP is 36 dBm maximum. In the EU is 
16.5. Okay. And why is that important? Well, that is important because the transmit power of your hotspot plus your antenna DBI should be the maximum EIRP or less. And if you are above it, the software inside of the hotspot is going to bring the power down to keep your DBM within, within the EIRP limitations for your region. So if you're using, I think there's an example right here, right here, hotspot operating in the U.S. with a 5.8 DBI antenna would have a total EIRP, which is the hotspot power output, which is in most cases, 27 dBm, and I can actually show you that right here. Uh, let's pull up a links dot. There is a links dot um, information right here, as you can see. Okay, and most manufacturers, well, actually all manufacturers know this information, and they shouldn't be uh, manufacturing any type of device with the power transmit that uh, goes above the government limitations for your region okay so um so in the united states the power output is 27 okay your antenna is a 5.8 so 27 plus 5.8 equals 32.8 total eirp which is still below the allowed 36 dbm so nothing would change in that case okay now if your antenna was increased to a 10 dBi antenna, okay, plus the 27 dBm, that's going to bring your EIRP to 37. So the minor software is going to reduce your power output, okay, by 1 dBm so that the total is less than equal to the 36 dBm allowed in the U.S. So again, that's very important. For, for me, it's important because it helps us it helps me choose the correct antenna because the higher DBI antenna, normally the more expensive the antenna is. So if the software is going to be lowering the uh, power output, then I don't see why having an antenna that's uh, more powerful and paying more for it is going to be useful. So I, I would rather save a few bucks and purchase the correct antenna uh, for, for the setup. So that's that's just my personal opinion on that. Uh, if anybody knows something that I don't, please write it in the comments below because I would love to know. And uh, that's what we're all here for, to communicate, discuss things, and learn from each other. So please write it in the comments below if you know something that I do not. Okay, so yeah, so if you if you guys want to pause this video and read through this uh, thing here, it should take about a minute. Uh, please do that. I don't see why you can't do that. So by all means, please do that. All right, we already touched on that email. Uh, the links dot. Let's see what else. Um, antennas, guys. If if you have not uh, familiarized yourself with the antennas and how they work, uh, you need to do that. You need to do that because. It, it's very important, especially now, especially now. It's it's very, very important because uh, they're cracking down. So you want to make sure that you know how antennas work and the DBIs and, you know, how each antenna projects and whatnot. You, you need to know about that. And there's tons of information about it out there. But I'll leave a link or two in the description below so that you can click on those and uh, learn a thing or two if you need to. What else? Calculators, guys. There are tons of calculators on the internet uh, to compute things such as the EIRP. So if you want to put in the power of your device, how much you are losing in cable, uh, the gain of your antenna, etc., just make sure that this is set to DBM and uh, you'll get a result down here. And uh, that way you'll know whether you, within you are uh, within the EIRP limitations for your region. I apologize about me not being able to speak today, apparently. 
let's see what else we have here today calculators uh yeah calculating your cable loss there are calculators for that online as well i'm going to leave links for uh, this particular one you put in your information here you hit calculate and then you'll find out uh, what your uh, dbm loss is for that particular uh, cable and the length that's a very useful tool and then there's obviously optimization tools uh, such as hotspot rf this is probably my favorite i use it all the time now they do have 10 free credits that you can uh, uh, sign up for it and try for free and uh, i would recommend you do that i know i did and as soon as i did it i ended up signing up for a program and uh, just purchasing credits whenever i run out of credits and uh, i run simulations all the time on hotspot rf it's extremely affordable guys it's not expensive at all and it's an incredible tool so i really really recommend it uh for anyone especially if you are in one of these regions where uh you have terrain issues mountains uh, if you live in in a valley stuff like that this tool is extremely useful and I think I have, yes, there is. I have a simulation that I ran here uh, for my location recently. And I just wanted to show you how easy it is. Put in your frequency, your antenna gain, your cable loss, your height in feet or meters. If the antenna is going to be indoors or outdoors. And then you select your terrain. And then you hit a little button down here that says run simulation. Once you do that, you're going to get a hotspot RF score. And uh, you can read more about that by hovering over that little exclamation point there. And it'll tell you what this score means. And there's another thing down here that is really cool. Let me get myself out of the way here for just a moment. I'm not anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I'll be right back. There it is. And uh, this is the simulation summary. And uh, it'll tell you the hotspots that you're hitting, how many of them are good, how many of them are dead or offline, total of hotspots, the transmit scale expected, and this is a really cool one, your weekly estimated, and I will say that a word again, estimated weekly earnings, okay? And, uh, you know, I wouldn't hold them accountable for this, guys. It's, it's an estimate, okay? And uh, so, you know, be nice with them. You know, be not, be good, be good to them. Be nice to them. They're they're just trying to give you a uh, you know a very nice tool there to uh, be able to um, optimize your system and uh, get an idea of what you could possibly earn. So, again, guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. Uh, we are reaching the fifty five zero fifty subscribers to the channel. That is a blessing. I. Uh, appreciate every one of you guys we are still new we're still working on uh, little things here and there uh, but uh, i appreciate everybody who signed up to my channel <clears throat> excuse me about that and uh yeah just uh, like the video guys comment below subscribe hit the notification bell what else what did i miss just uh do all the good things guys you know what to do and uh but you know what comment please guys comment because i like comments that's what we're here for that's how we learn i want to hear what you got to say i want to uh know if you have any uh, ideas if you have any questions if you uh have links to something interesting just put them in the comments below guys because uh those things are really useful and uh i like to check them out from time to time of course and uh if you have any questions, uh, let, let me know as well. And if you have any suggestions on uh, video or any uh, anything else that I may, may consider doing a video on, let me know as well. And uh, yeah, so thank you very much again, guys. Let's hit that 50 subscribers. And then once we do that, let's go to 100. So uh, thank you all very much for watching. I appreciate you. Uh, please don't forget to read that description because I will leave all kinds of links and uh, useful information there. So read the description below, guys. Thanks again. Have a great day and we'll see you all soon.